Okay, Phil, you're uh, refereeing the FA Cup final this year. When did you find out? Uh, I got a phone call Monday last week, about half past three, to ask, invite me to referee it. So, of course, I said yes. <laughs> I'd love to. Does it take a while to sink in? Yeah, it still hasn't sunk in yet. Until I've actually done the game, I won't believe that I'm going there. How important is that first decision for you? Uh, as long as it's a little decision, it'll be OK. If it's a big decision, then it will be really, really important. An early throw in will be good. Make sure we get that right. Start off nice and slow and build up. How much communication is there between, I guess, primarily yourself and the, the two assistants during the game? Well, with me, all every 30 seconds, I'm always chatting and talking, just making sure everybody's all right. Gene and and they do the same for me. You know, if something's gone wrong, you've gone a throw in wrong, you're obviously aware after that it's gone wrong. Just make sure you get the next one right. So we're always chatting, talking about different things, um, looking at set piece situations, you know, what's happened previously, can we put it right the next time? So we, we'll be talking for the full 90 minutes. Phil will be talking to us, telling us you know, where, where to look. Um, he's looking at one, th one player, part of the penalty area, we're looking at another, so that we're not all focused on the same place. I'd say to Andy, what can you see from his position? If he says I can see the keeper, then I'll try and look somewhere else, so we're both not looking at the same thing. As long as we're not all looking the same place, then um, that, that's the most important thing. So we'll communicate over the communication system to say, you know, we're looking at near post, far post, who the players are. Um, who's on the keeper, etc. We can't afford to make a mistake. Players can make mistakes and then put it right later on. If we make a mistake, then we're in the spotlight straight away. And what will you do after the game? Um, <laughs> I shall celebrate with the wife, um, have, a, have a drink, because I've been off the beer for two weeks or three weeks. Have a nice drink and have a nice meal with the, with the lads and just chill out for a couple of days until we're back training at Warwick.